All right, this uh, video is strictly for entertainment. I am not an expert. Um, so what I am doing may not mean anything. Uh, but that is a bad bearing. And this one is even worse. Opening the garage door gives me a lot more light, but it does set up a contrast problem with the camera can't quite cope with all the time. So anyway, while we're uh, doing a little maintenance here, I'm going to take the jacks down uh, and I'm going to give them a little bit of a cleaning and then I'm going to uh, spray them with a little bit of uh, flat black rust paint. Now I'm not going to be really, really good on the cleaning, but we'll we'll make them cleaner than they were. The jacks are a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes, especially with them being rusty and a little stiff. Uh, this will clean them up a little bit, and I'll add some some lubricant to them at some point. But anyway, uh, basic thing I really want to do today was was to uh, replace the wheel bearings little history. When I bought the trailer in 2018, uh, someone told me what the wheel bearing uh, size would be and I ordered those from from e-trailer having every intention to quickly change those out because I had no idea of the history of the trailer and the, the person I bought it from had never changed the bearings out but he hadn't used it very much but they've been there for a while. So I did take the, uh, the bearings, uh, I did take the wheels off, went to replace the bearings, and found that no, my trailer is a little bit older and did not have the same size as the newer Minimates. So the new bearings I had with me weren't going to work, uh, so I just cleaned and repacked the old bearings. Just for reference, this particular trailer has got a one inch axle. Newer one's a little bit thicker. So I just repacked those old bearings and put them back in. Now I'm sure I did a little bit of damage to the, uh, the seal on the back bearing uh, on well, it's this side of the, of the, uh, the trailer. Um, and over time, it seems that a bit of water got in to that bearing and we had a little bit of, of wear but uh, later on uh, when I got the bearings out I could I could feel how loose they were and also see a little bit of rust also that tire ended up with a lot more uh, wear on it in the last year uh, I did put new tires on it uh, after my first trip with the the mini mate uh, those tires were, it was more the age of the tires than the, uh, the wear on them. Uh, another Mini Maid owner on Facebook remarked about how hard it was to loosen up the lug nuts on his wheel. Well, of course, I got it raised up right now, so the wheel wants to just turn. But we, even when I dropped it down, it's like I could not get them to move. So I decided it's just as easy to just take the uh, the hub right off because I was going to have to anyway. I did try a couple of things, but uh, to no avail. Anyway, getting back to the bearings. So I repacked the bearings and then took a trip down to North Carolina. Took another trip the next year to New York State for my cordwood uh, weekend and uh, did about 3,000 kilometers in province did 
8,000 kilometers going around to uh, going up to Ontario and Wawa. And then I've hauled it a bit with the car doing a few other things. So since I bought it in 2018, uh, I have put at least 27,000 kilometers, about uh, almost 17,000 miles on that set of bearings just repacked and I don't know how much time they had on it before so it's time to actually change those out uh, yeah no two ways around that and the tires are, are due for a change the tires have got about 20,000 kilometers on them about 12,500 miles uh, as I said one of them has got a little more uh, wear on it than the other the outer bearing is held on with the uh, the wheel nut and the uh, and a washer, so it pops out pretty quickly and easily. Now the inner bearing, because of the the dust seal for it, uh, you've got to actually knock that thing out. The bearings in this wheel actually were in really, really good shape. Uh, that's an old tire right there. But no, they were in pretty darn good shape. Once I had that wheel off, I put it in the vise. And here's for you, Miles. I've got my half inch socket on this, the half inch ratchet. And I've got a pipe for leverage. And you know what? I can't make this move. I cannot undo a single lug and I'm wondering myself now what should I do to get those off and it's like uh, duh of course I know what to do These were so tight that I've decided that I'm going to just use the wrench when uh, I put them, the new tires back on the hubs. And it's time to give the hubs a little bit of a cleanup too. There's a bit of rust on them. So we're going to clean them up somewhat and we'll uh, spray paint them with the flat black rust paint as well before we insert the, uh, uh, the new bearings. first sign of something wrong this one just won't slide off like the other wheel did This set of bearings got a lot of dirt in it, and yeah, it's got a lot playing it. The other set was was actually still usable, but this one, nope, that is not. And that's also the side that's showing a little bit of extra wear. I hope you can make that out. That one's pretty bad. You know, compared to the new one. Bearings were going on that side. Good thing I decided to change them out. So although I had the product code, I still took the first uh, set of bearings I took out, which were which are in pretty good shape. And went into uh, our local local place and uh, 
Man. They got everything included in Greece. And that was for 19 bucks. I'm, uh, I'm impressed. I am bloody well impressed. So, I've got a one inch shaft. Now, some of the Mini Mates are a little bit, uh, the newer ones have got slightly larger axle shaft. But for mine, I need the L44643 bearing set. And uh, so that's what we've got. These came with their grease and they also came with new covers. I, in like 1999. Locally, that's Canadian. I am really, really happy. Um, of course, the, the new bearings came with new raceways. Now, I've got to admit, it took me a few minutes to figure out what in the heck they were. The raceways in the hub are so tight, and they, they look like they're part of the casting and then they cleaned up. But no, you want to knock them out. And I was just using a large flat-headed screwdriver as a, as a punch for this. The... Uh, the main thing is to remember, Getting you know, close. you, you ju just want to hit the, the raceway. You don't want to score anything else. Okay, I've been long been using this Yamaha uh, Marine Grease. And... Uh, Although they do have a packet of, of grease in, packed with the bearings and stuff, I'm going to continue to use the, to use the, uh, use that. The raceway has a really tight fit, so you've got to, Try to make sure you've got it flat going in. Uh, I probably should have put these in the freezer. I know that's a good trick to uh, make it a little bit easier to insert something as tight as this raceway. Just to get that down past the lip. Now, if you think that this went all as quick and easy as it looks like in this video, you'd be wrong. I had a few slip-ups. I had trouble getting things lined up. So, it did take me a little longer. That looks like about a sixteenth of an inch. Oh, wait a second, we're in. We're in. There's a secondary ridge in there that I'm looking at that had me fooled. Starting to feel like a proctologist for all the gloves I've been going through on this project. The more I think about it, the more I'm sure that I damaged the seal when I had repacked the uh, bearings the first time I ever did it. So that's how some water got in. Otherwise, I think the bearings can easily go 25,000 to 30,000 kilometers. That was an old 
raceway. No new parts. Anyway, got to pound this till it's flush with the, uh, the housing, and then uh, it will be ready to install. Got to pack the outer bearing first. Okay, <clears throat> so forcing it in from the big end first. And then from the other end, and we'll see, we'll see it bubbling through. God, uh, I forget whose video I was looking at, but they were doing a, a boat trailer. Remember that was four sets of bearings and raceways that I had to put in and get ready. So now we're just putting a little bit of grease on the axle. We'll get our hub on. Next thing of course is installing the new outer bearings. Then there's a large flat washer that goes on and the nut. It's recommended to snug up that nut in order to really seat the bearings. But then you got to slacken it off a little bit you want that hub you want that wheel to spin freely so don't leave it don't leave it too tight or too snug it's got to be loose then it's time for the new cotter pin and once you got that in just bending the the ends over on that and that nut is going to not is not going to come any looser than what you left it. Then it's that nice new shiny dust cover. Now a lot of people go to something like a, um, a bearing buddy, so they can they can fill that cap with uh, with grease. Now maybe at some point I'll do that, but right now this isn't too bad. And then I got company. Hey. So we're just doing a little bit of trailer maintenance and videoing it, of course, yeah, and yeah. waiting for parts for that thing. Okay. But enjoy your trip down Thank here. You. Glad you stopped Keep in. Keep the sunny side up. Oh yes. Thanks for dropping in. Yeah, you're pretty welcome. Okay. And that was Phil from Kingston, originally from Newfoundland, this area, and uh, home visiting. Uh, he does watch the channel. Oh, he did say he hasn't subscribed yet. I hope he does now. Anyway, I, he and a buddy were doing the Labrador Highway to come to Newfoundland earlier this summer, and his uh, buddy had a bit of a mishap. So uh, he and his wife had to come over anyway, so they came over by car just now. Um, but no, uh, my host is pretty recognizable from the videos, so he... Uh, uh, saw the garage door open and stopped by and we had a, about a 10 minute chat about the channel and uh, riding uh, which was kind of neat for him just to show up like that so anyway now it's time to get that brand new wheel on and it kind of looks nice being all shiny the hub is a little bit cleaned up and of course that new uh, dust cap kind of looks all right maybe I should get some some good uh, uh, wheel covers or something anyway I did use the the air ratchet to get them on uh, 
harsh because there's just so much churning to do. But once I did that, I just I backed them off a little bit, and uh, and then retightened using uh, just my regular ratchet. Well, I'm gonna have to remember to uh, carry that socket with me because it's not metric. And the very last thing to do, of course, is uh, I checked the tire pressure, which was only 20 pounds off the shelf. So uh, we take that up to 30 because that worked for me very, very well. And I'm running a Class C high-speed rated tire. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get about 30,000 kilometers out of these ones. All right. Well, thank you for coming along. And uh, we'll see you soon in the next video.